Hello, Aquarius. This is your August 2020 general reading. Please keep in mind that time is fluid, so whenever you watch this message, whenever you see it, is when you're meant to see it. It is general, so it will not resonate with everyone. Take the parts that resonate, leave the rest. Um, check your other placements also, and watch for those. Um, there is no gender in tarot, so don't get hung up on he, she. Just know that it's, it's more about the energy of the card. And as always, cross-watchers are welcome. So, Aquarius, let's figure out what you've got going on. I will um, whoops, lay all these cards out. Dang it. And then we'll clarify as we go. All right, Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. You've got the three of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. All right, let's see what's up. Ooh, starting out with the Empress. Look at you go. The Eight of Pentacles. The Hierophant. Temperance. The Fool. Ah, Victory, the Six of Wands. The Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, doesn't have to be. The Three of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. I have messed with this table so much today. It's like my OCD is taking control of my life. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Pentacles, right? So let's start by clarifying. We've got this Empress up here. This is Taurus Virgo energy. Doesn't have to be. The Empress is the Divine Feminine. In Tarot, the Empress is perpetually pregnant. So as soon as she gives birth, she's pregnant again, which is just kind of uh, shows her ability to create and nurture. She is abundant and beautiful and... Um, you know, she's just, she's the divine feminine. Now, again, this does not have, this doesn't mean that you are a woman. If you are a man watching this, it, we all have um, feminine and masculine qualities. So this is just the energy of that card. Okay. She's, she's powerful. She creates life. She nurtures life. Um, she's grounded. She's stable. She's prosperous, abundant. She's beautiful. So um, she's right next to this eight of pentacles with it, which is um, earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, doesn't have to be. But the Eight of Pentacles is um, the energy of working very hard, being very focused and working hard on something in the 3D, in real time, okay? Earth energy is very grounded, physical energy. So this is, you know, a project that you're working on, money, finances, career, you know, something tangible. That is right next to the Hierophant, which is, um, a lot of times is uh, formal commitment, marriage, um, you know, or can can indicate somebody, you know, going to college or some kind of formal training or education. The Hierophant is very worldly. He has all the information and he's sharing it with others. So, you know, people will come to him. He, he could even indicate, you know, like a counselor or, or something of that nature. Anyway, um, that's also, you know... The Hierophant is Taurus energy. So again, that's earth, earth energy right next to the temperance card, which is very patient healing. Um, it's a card of alchemy when the alchemist would blend, um, you know, they would turn base metal into gold essentially. Um, and they had to temper those energies and it was a long process. They had to be patient. Okay. So it's a very patient energy we've got. I mean, just in the top row alone, we've got three major arcana. So Got a lot of a lot of major energy going on here. So let's find out what this um, Empress energy is about. Clarify the Empress for me, please. Why is this here? How does this fit into the reading? Clarify the Empress for me. Um, Four of Wands. That's marriage or a partnership, a happy partnership. Can be soulmate energy. Um, doesn't have to be. It, I mean, it could just be anything that makes you happy, essentially. Um, it is the marriage card. It is the twin flame card. So this could be about a relationship. It could just be about a partnership that was very harmonious and happy. Um, 
Let's clarify this. Let's, what is this Emperor and Four of Wands about here? Show me the cards I need to see for the Emperor and the Four of Wands, please. The Knight of Pentacles. Um, this could be you moving forward towards this, um, this happy partnership. I, I'm not sure um, how that all fits together, actually. Moving away from that. I, you know, I don't know. I just don't know. Um, let's, let's clarify this Eight of Pentacles so we can figure out what's going on here. So, you know, you've got this, this Knight of Pentacles. It's very slow and steady. He always gets where he's going. He doesn't get there quickly, but you know, he's delivering, you know, the Knights are, um, you know, they, they come in, they don't stay. They just, you know, bring whatever in that they were told to bring. So, you know, this is money coming in or you going towards something. Um, let's clarify this eight of pentacles. Why is this here? Here's the, here's the king of pentacles. So you're working on, um, something stable. The king of pentacles is typically it's pre emperor energy. So it's very grounded, very abundant, very prosperous. He's typically a husband, a father, um, does not have to be a male energy. It's just, it's, you know, take it as it resonates, but he is a very good provider. Um, he has a lot, the king of pentacles, you know, he provides for his entire kingdom, his family, his constituents. So let's figure out what this eight, maybe you're working, you know, working on standing in this king of pentacles power, having this, you know, you're turning this smaller offer. I just don't know. We're going to find out though. Okay. So clarify the uh, king of pentacles with the eight of pentacles for me, please. So the lovers, Gemini energy doesn't have to be a lot of times it's about a choice. It can be soulmate energy. So maybe you are, um, you know, you have this person that you see as an emperor, you see as your soulmate, your ultimate happiness, and you're going towards her really trying to work on, you know, being this provider in this, in this relationship, bringing this um, stability to her, wanting to offer this to her or provide this to her or him, doesn't matter. Um, what is this hierophant? Again, this could be marriage, long-term commitment. So clarify the hierophant. Why is this here? Capricorn energy, devil. Oof. So this could just be a uh, real good sex. <laughs> this could be the energy of, um, maybe you having to make a choice between, um, moving towards someone that makes you happy and away from being stuck and bound to someone else, potentially a karmic relationship. It could just indicate real hot sex, but let's find out. Um, show me the cards I need to see to clarify this Hierophant and this devil. Show me the cards I need to see. The two of wands, deciding how to go forward. I, this is a choice. There's something going on here that you're choosing. Um, you may want be wanting to move away from a toxic relationship or be trying to figure out if this is a toxic, I don't know. You're, you're making some choices though. That's what the lovers and the two of wands is about. Two of wands, all, all the twos are about decisions, choices. So what's going on with this temperance? Why is this here? Conflict, chaos, could be inner conflict. It could be competition external to you. It could be a situation where too many people, people are involved and it's creating conflict. Either way, you know, fives are about change. We're trying to figure out how to move forward, how to go on. Okay, so we're trying to get through this, this change and, and go forward. So let's clarify temperance and the five of wands, please. Three of swords. So, you know, this could be a, a three, a third party situation, and that can be in a romantic relationship. It can be at a business partnership. It can be anything. And third parties don't always have to be um, people. They can be anything that interferes in a relationship, anything toxic that interferes in a relationship, addictions, negativity, um, just anything that would present an opportunity to be toxic within a relationship. So 
This middle row, though, we've got The Fool, which is a leap of faith. It's a new adventure. It's a beginning again. Um, traveling light. You've, you've let go of all this baggage, all this conflict, and you're moving forward. And you feel pretty good about it. And you're right next to the Six of Wands, Wands which is victory, success, um, and the Queen of Pentacles. So now, you know, we've got this King of Pentacles. Now we've got the Queen of Pentacles. So let's um, clarify this Fool. What's going on with this Fool? Why is this here? You've walked away um, from something and it could have been that you were in a marriage, you know, planning on how to move forward, you know, with something very stable and grounded, somebody that you loved. And, you know, maybe a third party came in, came in between you two, caused some conflict, some chaos, caused some heartbreak. You had to walk away or they did from this situation because it just wasn't good for you. And you are, you know, on your way to... Um, leaving, you know, leaving this situation for a new beginning. Okay, so let's clarify the Fool and the Eight of Cups, please. Fool and the Eight of Cups. Why is this here? Um, that Knight of Cups. So, you know, you are in search of, of, you've got this cup of love that you want to offer, or it could be that someone wants to offer you. Um, you know, you're searching for, when we, when we walk away from the Eight of Cups, we are looking for the Two of Cups. We're looking for our soulmate. We're looking for another person. So, you know, you've got your cup, you're in search of your other cup. Um, this is right next to the Six of Wands. Again, that's victory. So show me the cards I need to see for the Six of Wands. Why is this here? And it's right at the center of your read. So, you know, this is, this energy is connected to all of this. It's, it, I feel like this path is leading you to success. So show me the cards I need to see for the Six of Wands, please. The Three of Pentacles. We've got this over here. This again, could be a third party. Um, it could be figuring out in the real time how, how to make something work. But I feel like this is having victory over a third party or having victory over, you know, this situation with an interference, riding on past it. But let's clarify the Six of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. Why is this here, please? Clarify the Six of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. Moving away. Yeah, I think you um, were, you know, you've walked away from this situation. It's what's in your best interest. It's what's going to lead you to victory, to success. You know, you're making this transition. The six of swords energy is about, you know, moving from those tumultuous choppy water waters towards, you know, smooth waters. Um, it's also, you know, has some healing from our, from all of our, our thoughts, you know, our, the swords is, is air energy. That's our thoughts. Um, you know, but we're making this transition, this journey, you know, we're in the water, we're, we're calming our thoughts. So we now are, we have arrived at this queen of pentacles energy. She is the king of pentacles counterpart. Um, she is the mother, the provider. She's, um, stable, beautiful, independent, successful, nurturing, kind, um, prosperous. You know, she's got everything uh, except for basically a partner. So, you know, you could um, just be harnessing this power. You could be going towards your Queen of Pentacles as the King. So let's find out. Let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Why is this here? What's up with this? Show me the cards I need to see for the Queen of Pentacles. The Three of Wands. Moving forward. You've made your decision. Now you're, you know, you're waiting for your ships to come in. You've, you're, you know, looking towards the horizon. You know which direction you want to go. You know what you want. Um, you got a little passion back in your life. You know, these, these wands have new growth on them. So this is, you know, the opportunity to go forward with, with something new. Um, you know, you've, you've crossed this, this ocean, this sea, this water, and you've arrived at your destination and you're, you're ready to move forward. Okay. So let's get another one for this queen of pentacles and three of wands. How does this fit? Why is this here? The Hierophant. So again, you know, this this could be someone that's coming into your life that's either offering you this cup of love or you them, um, you know, that can lead to a formal commitment, a long, a long lasting relationship. That Queen of Pentacles energy with the Hierophant is a, a, a long, you know, a formal committed relationship, marriage. Um that's just how I'm seeing it. So let's see what this three of cups is. The three of cups typically is happiness, celebration, joy. It can be third parties. 
Um, it can be reconciliation. I'm going to read it right now until I clarify as just happiness. So let's, um, let's clarify the three of cups. What's up here with this three of cups? The world. So we're ending a cycle and beginning a success. You know, we're successfully ending a cycle and starting a new one. Give me another one for the three of cups and the world card, please. Why is this here? tower. So I feel like this was a third party. You know, you're, you've walked away from this situation towards something else. Um, it brought down that tower, which, you know, the tower falls when it wasn't built on a solid foundation. Everything that wasn't secured, um, kind of falls away and lets you build that tower back up you know, bigger and stronger than before. So we're now next to, we've got this Knight of Wands energy. The Knight of Wands um, is someone, he can be a player, but he's also uh, very passionate. He writes, you know, he's quick, passionate, um, energetic, you know, creative. He, he rides forward with this opportunity for a new beginning. And, oh, whoopsie. And he is, um, again, he's quick. So let's clarify, what is this Knight of Wands about here? What do we got going on with this Knight of Wands? Show me the cards I need to see. You're riding out towards your wish fulfillment. This tower fell. You're getting the heck out of there. You are on your own. You have all everything you need to be, you know, to take care of yourself. Um, clarify this Knight of Wands and this Nine of Cups, please. Show me the cards I need to see for this Knight of Wands and the Nine of Cups. So you are uh, heading towards fulfillment, emotional emotional fulfillment, happy, happy family. Um, you know what you want. You want to be happy. You want to be in a relationship. You want to, you know, you want those 10 cups and the two kids and the rainbow and the house. And so we've got this Knight of Pentacles, which was this energy up here. I think you, you really thought this situation was going to bring you this, this, this happiness and it didn't, it looks like it fell apart. So here you are again, starting out again, you know, wanting something stable and committed and happy. Um, you're, you know, you're, you're headed in the right direction. Slow and steady wins the race. Let's clarify the Knight of Pentacles here. Show me the cards I need to see for the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're wrapping up this long, painful cycle, okay? So 10 is, you know, kind of kind of the end. That's your, you know, you're looking for the 10 of cups. You're moving away from the 10 of swords, right? Um, it's been painful. It's held you down. It was it was traumatic and hurtful. So, um, you know, you're, you're releasing that. We've got these birds in this card. You're going to release those swords, and go towards something something solid. So let's clarify the Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords, please. Show me the cards I need to see for the Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. The Page of Swords. So you are um, looking for information or information is coming to you. Pages are messengers. This can be internet spying. So maybe you're, you know, you've got your eye on somebody. Uh, you know, you want to be in a relationship. This could be online dating. Or it could just be um, somebody's spying on you or you them. But either way, it's information, okay? Um, again, pages are messengers. So we're looking, we're looking for information. We're looking for a way. So give me another one for this page of swords. Why is this here? So we could be looking at, at a past life soulmate. I hope you're not going back to this person, but do as you will. Um, somebody from your past, and that could be anybody. That could be a, a past life. That could just be the past. Someone that you have sweet memories of. Someone that you um, have nostalgia for. This could just be you reflecting, you know, maybe you're still spying on this person. Um, or them you. Give me another one for the Six of Cups. Why is this here? The King of Wands. Warrior king of the deck, passionate, fiery, fierce, good looking, um, goes after what he wants and I'll be damned if he doesn't get it every time. You know, he gets it, he gets it every single time, whatever, whatever he's going after, 
he gets. So this, you know, this is, it feels still up in the air to me. This very well could be you, um, uh, them coming after you again, or you going back after them. But I just, this just could be somebody from your past that you want to win. So give me another one for this King of Wands. Why is this King of Wands here? Show me the cards I need to see for this King of Wands in relation to this Six of Cups. Empress. So, you know, your divine feminine. Maybe you are, maybe this is somebody from your past. It doesn't have to be. It can just be a past life soulmate. I feel like you're scoping this person out, though. You're, you know, you're on the internet. You're looking at this person. And here's the emperor. So, you you know, this is the person that's coming into your life or, you know, you're coming into theirs. However, however it resonates. Um, now we have a power couple on the board. You know, you're, it looks like to me you're going to fight for this person and you're going to win. Because now we have, you know, this 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 power couple here um so however that resonates for you um i feel like you know you maybe had to fight for this relationship it, and again it could have been because it, it's a reconciliation it could just be somebody from your past maybe that you always wanted to be with um and that person you know i still i still feel like one or both of you is kind of checking up on each other on social media. Maybe you've stayed connected through social media. Um, and you have, you know, maybe you knew this person growing up or them, you, whatever it is, whatever it is. I, I just feel like this is a situation, you know, that you are, are in right now. So let's check, let's see what we got here. We've got, um, the three of pentacles. This can be a third party. This can also be figuring out how to work on things in real time. Um, and having really fought the good fight, go, you know, you really, you really kind of went through it. Um, we got this two of wands here again. You've had to make some hard choices, um, but you're ending this cycle and beginning a new one. Successful completion of a cycle. Um, you could, this is sometimes, you know, kind of the miser of the deck, but I feel like this is you really um, trying to stay grounded trying to stay focused and trying to protect yourself, you know, kind of, you know, holding, holding these in front of you as a shield, um, being straight, um, strong, brave, courageous to get through this so that you can have this new beginning after all of this five of wands conflict and this three of swords energy. We have this here, um, maybe having to go within and search for answers, you know, go off on your own, could be a Virgo, doesn't have to be finally seeing things, um, from a different perspective, um, with fresh eyes, checking out all angles. And, and you know, this king of pentacles kind of wanted to ride forward, you know, to this queen. So, you know, we've got this person that wants to be a father, wants to be a husband, wants to offer this cup of love. You know, messages of, of new beginnings after, after walking away from things that didn't serve us. Um, again, this is, you know, page of pentacles, you know, more messages, more, more messages coming in or out. Again, I feel like you guys are watching each other. You've manifested this. Here's that page of swords. You guys are watching each other. Um, and you're going to get your 10 of pentacles. You know, you're going to get your family, your life, your home, your stable, grounded, solid, sturdy, you know, situation, home life, money, all the things, um, with your divine counterpart. So again, this looks like a relationship reading. It could be a business partnership, but whatever the case may be, I feel like you're really getting your um, information and so is this other person. And again, it could be people coming together for business. It doesn't have to be. Take it as it resonates. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is I'm going to clear these all up. And I bought this cute little deck um, of just like little inspirational messages. So I'm going to close with that. Um, oh, sorry keep bumping the table. All right. So I bought this, um, the sea melodies deck. It is enchanting messages from the mermaids. Who doesn't love mermaids? Okay. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pull a little, a little warm fuzzy message here. Um, just to wrap up the reading just because I want to, because these cards are so stinking cute. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna get something here for you as an additional message. All right. Meditate. Make some quiet time in the still air. 
This is, um, I think this has been really important for you because, you know, you've had all this conflict, this chaos, these, these, these endings and beginnings. So meditate, you know, get some time to yourself, be still, listen to spirit, um, breathe, focus, um, you know, just kind of be in the moment, be mindful and present. Um, and that can help clear away confusion and chaos and, and can really give us an opportunity to um, listen to the messages from spirit, from source, um, and figure out, you know, which way to go, what we need to do. So, and, and it's always kind of a good self-care thing too. So that is your reading. I hope it resonated. Um, I love all of you and I will see you next time.